Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm down in Estepona. I came down early this morning because I have a TIE appointment tomorrow. Uh, but I figured, let's go down and check out Estepona. So I booked a hotel, we're gonna stay the night. It's known as the Garden of the Casa del Sol and it did not disappoint. I walked in from the bus station and wow, it is stunning. So I'm gonna check out some of that. And they're also known for their murals. There's murals all over the apartment blocks. I'm not gonna show you every single one, but I will drop some in the B-roll if they're really, really well done. Highly recommend coming to check those out. So anyways, we're gonna get into Estepona here. There's some Roman ruins, the flowers, there's an orchidarium, there's all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned, we'll check her out. So check out this massive mural behind me. It's like of a castle with the mountains in the background. Absolutely stunning. Hopefully it shows up in the shade. But when you're walking around Estepona, definitely look up. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's like plants, flowers, trees. They got those little pots on the side of the walls. It's absolutely beautiful here. So right behind me is the Orchidarium here in Estepona. It's only three euros to get in, but because I have such a short amount of time here, I think I'm gonna come back when they have that massive garden festival. Uh, and I will visit the Orchidarium then and give it its own video. And I'm also gonna film a video about that massive garden festival. So I'll just show you a little bit around. It's uh, almost Christmas. So of course the Christmas stuff, there's poinsettias all over the town. They actually plant them in the ground here in Spain. They're not just in, plant in pots. It's, uh, it's a really stunning town. So we'll go check some stuff out. We'll head down to the ruins also. And this is just one of these towns on the Costa del Sol that you have to just get out and walk. It is so amazing. It's like Mijas Pueblo and Frigliana. It's so amazing here. Absolutely stunning. There's all kinds of little like nooks and crannies. You got the pots everywhere cobblestone it's absolutely beautiful statues just random every street you go down is amazing all right so i'm currently over at the castillo de san luis which is an old uh roman mausoleum which was turned into a moorish watchtower you can see how old it is it's absolutely stunning i haven't made it around the front yet um, to see if I can get in, but just to see it from the outside. I mean, you're literally walking by history. It is absolutely gorgeous. But it's all covered in vines now. Absolutely remarkable. No idea what the name of that flower is, but it's really cool. It looks almost like a bunch of fingers. Uh, or it's really nice here. Highly recommend coming down and taking a look at this. And they just, the whole town is gorgeous like every inch of it. I've walked for probably an hour now and it's absolutely beautiful. Here we are on the other side of it. it is just gorgeous. Looks like they got Christmas lights hanging from it now too, mixed in with these vines. Wow, I'm gonna get, there's a set of stairs over here. Let's go see if we can actually get into the center of it. That would be really cool. Well, as my luck usually goes, <laughs> we can't get into it, but still a really cool place. Highly recommend coming to check it out. Absolutely gorgeous. Wait till you see this street. This is Calle Villa. Holy, look at this. Look at the pots. It's beautifully manicured. They got this beautiful tile, uh, like mosaic of Estepona. Wow, just absolutely stunning here. We'll go down, I think there's a mausoleum at the end, so we'll go check that out. And they have little artwork pieces done with tile all the way down. Like they really take a lot of pride in their cities over here. Like they're all just beautiful. I mean, look at the work they put into this. It's just amazing. All right, so here is the Roman mausoleum on Calle Via. You can see all the old ruins. You can actually walk right around it. We'll go in there. Yeah, it's stunning. I don't know if that pottery, that terracotta looks new, but yeah, wow. I think there's a school right above us so you can hear all the kids playing, but look at this, just amazing. So as you can see here, it's an octagon shape and this is dated back about 1600 years ago. Pretty, pretty amazing. We'll have a walk just around. I'll show you some of the other spots here it's 
pretty cool. Like, to me, this is what Europe's all about. Having a coffee in a plaza and then just walking through old towns and, you know, it's good food, great weather, history, beauty. I just love it over here. And this uh, little poster here behind me actually shows a lot of different Roman ruins across uh, the region here. Here's the Finca del Secretario. That's actually in Los Beliches, where I live. Uh, yeah, wow, this is, I, I'm gonna check all these out. And then, of course, here's the one in Malaga, the Teatro Romano. So I figured I'd pop down to the Paseo Maritimo here in Estepona and check it out. It's absolutely stunning. What a beautiful, huge beach. They have very wide beaches and they go for quite a ways. I'm not sure how long, but I walked in from the bus station and it's like all beach the whole way in. Absolutely beautiful. And then, too bad you can't see it, but behind all these buildings is a wicked mountain range. And just look, they've done a great job on this Paseo here. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna say this is one of the most beautiful towns I've ever been in. Check out this roundabout here. It's absolutely beautiful. And then if you turn around, you can see the mountain range. The clouds are just kind of stuck on it today. Absolutely beautiful. Look at all these gardens. Is this salvia? I've never seen salvia this big, if that's what it is. Absolutely beautiful here. So like every street here is lined with pots and they all seem to be a different color. Like this street has red ones and some of them are red with polka dots. This is all pink. Of course, you see the terracotta ones, you see the blue ones. It's really stunning. Like this is, I've never seen anything like this actually with so many pots. Like every little town has flowers and stuff around, but this is, this is next level. All right, so behind me is the clock tower built here in the 16th century. Uh, they kind of have it blocked off. It's like a little plaza, but there's a school. So obviously they don't want you going in where the kids are, but I'm sure in the summer it's probably wide open. But we're sitting here at the end of November, so school is in session. So I made it down to the marina and the port. It's a little windy, but it is quite beautiful. This is down in the new section. There's like a lighthouse over there. They have half the promenade ripped up. They're redoing it. It's absolutely beautiful. Down in the old section, it looks like it's all redone, but right up here on top of that hill, it goes on for kilometers and they're redoing it. It's gonna be stunning when it's done, but check it out down here. Oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna go and maybe walk out there. There's a little restaurant over there. Maybe we'll go grab a bite to eat. It is lunchtime. So, but there's lots of construction all over the city. It is November, most of the tourists are gone. So uh, good time for them to do it. But yeah, wow, it's beautiful down this end also. All right guys, so first dish has come out. Check this out. Mackerel, onions and tomato. Looks like some vinegar and oil gonna be delicious I think let's get into it it is so delicious it's so simple but so good you just get a little onion little tomato and some mackerel oh my god it is out of this world just with some oil and vinegar like no wonder Spain is where they live the longest in the world outside of I think Greece and Japan Spain comes right in there too like if you eat this every day my god you're gonna you're gonna be healthy all right, next dish came out. It's mackerel with hearts of lettuce, tomato, onion. Uh, very similar. I don't eat fish at all, like back in Canada, ever. Because, uh, you know, half it's like imported, right? Um, but yeah, when you are on the coast here, like in Estepona, look at this. So simple. So I'm going to get into this. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. All right, the next dish just showed up. This lettuce and mackerel, that is smoked, I believe. So tasty. I've never had fish with so much flavor. It's phenomenal. This is a fried pollock. Fried pollock. Man, that is going to be good. I had a similar white fish fried at El Pimpi in Malaga, and that was on point. That's why I went with this. This is going to probably be amazing. I highly recommend this restaurant. I'll drop the name below. I don't want to butcher the uh, pronunciation, but man, highly recommend it. It's kind of hidden off to the port here. You got the lighthouse over there and the marina's over there it's kind of like tucked away i seen it when i was up on like that plaza there 
totally recommend coming here. All right, so I wasn't really gonna do a commentary on fried fish, but this is like the lightest, flakiest, it's just like fried with a little sea salt. Oh my God. And they give you a lime instead of lemon on point. Like this is delicious. All right, so final thoughts on La Escollera Dynamite. Uh, it's gonna take you about 20 minutes to walk down there, maybe on a cab. It's a beautiful walk. Uh, you can walk along the promenade the whole way. The food is out of this world, absolutely dynamite. Uh, I got three fish dishes, three beer, and a bottle of water. It's 24 euros. The place is packed with locals, so you know it's dynamite. They have all kinds of different fish, clams, uh, pollock, uh, you name it. They got it, scallops, everything, razor clams, and they do it, you can get it pretty much cooked any way you want. It's, uh, it's yeah, it's dynamite. Highly recommend going to check it out, uh, and the scenery is just absolutely beautiful down there. All right, so I thought I'd wrap this video up down at the beach. It's absolutely stunning here. Highly recommend coming to visit Estepona. There's tons to do. I'm gonna come back for the flower festival. I'm gonna come back and film the Orchidarium. Plus there is tons of Roman ruins just outside the city within 15 to 20 minutes. There's a lagoon, there's tons of golf, and there's tons of nature trails. So I will be back here many, many, many times now that I live on the Casa del Sol. This place blew me away and it's the end of November. So I can only imagine what it's like in the summer. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.